Hello, welcome to Kate's Egg. Today we are getting ready to road the combines back to the field we were in yesterday. So I just put it in third gear. It wasn't quite in, so it wouldn't move. sure our vid's ready to go. I let the combines idle for a little while and then I revved it up because in the morning time you always want to give the combines a little bit of time to warm up. Just want to, yep, our vid's right behind me. Um, hold on. I'm just going to let this car go in front of us because a combine's going to take up the road for a little while and we can't drive very fast. So if you see a car you always want to let them go in front. Although I don't have a radio, so I don't know what's going on. It might be Uncle Chris. I think it is actually. Oh, turning. So we are good to go. I'm wearing my Kate's Egg shirt that is grown and made in the USA again because it's perfect for harvest time. It is 10:20 right now when we're getting started. Most operations start earlier, and we used to, but just because we've been doing it so long, we start a little bit later. Got to slow down. The combine got a little bit turny there. I'm going to go to the approach on the shoot. I don't know how I should get on this field. I'm trying to think. Yesterday we got off at this part, so this is where I'm going to go. Arvid seems to be pretty far behind me, but he still is behind me. I don't want to completely lose him when I don't have a radio. So now I'll take a slight turn. Hopefully I'll be able to see where Arvid is at now. Oh, it seems like he's coming. Wonder why he's going so slow. I bet he's only in second gear. And because I don't have a radio, I can't let him know to get in third. So I have found the approach to the field and I'm going to get on it here. Drive to where we've been harvesting at. In fact, I think I'll put it in second gear right now. I don't know where they left off last night. Yesterday I took the evening off combining, so I'm just trying to figure out where they left off. I think I see it right now. There's not too much left of this field, which is really good actually. There are so many hawks. One, two, three, four. I see at least six in this field right now. So it's kind of interesting. Some years there are tons of hawks and others there aren't. Sometimes you'll see them come out of the wheat swath with something in their hands and usually it's a little mouse because mice like to hang out in the wheat swath as well. So my dad said definitely don't go four miles per hour in this stuff because it's good wheat. I'm just coming up to my row right now, so I'll slow down, idle it down, put the back of the combine in, and then put the header in, and wait till it starts moving, and then you rev it up, put your header on the ground. I just readjusted my header height setting, and I'm going to start harvesting. I don't see where Arvid is, Wow, this window is so clean. We cleaned it yesterday, so I cannot believe it. I wonder if that ladder's supposed to fall down. Oh, looks like Arvid's close behind me. So I'm going 3.4 miles per hour right now. And we'll see what my bushels per acre meter reads. I just have a 50 hour service notice. Um, it's reading nine or 11 right now. It may have not had enough time in the wheat yet though to know. Now it's reading 14. These rows are starting to get very short because they end in one, two, three, four, five passes. And then we'll almost be done with this field by then, actually. You usually make a left turn when you come out of your wheat swath to line up to your next pass. But that would be if your left pass is right here, you'd make a left turn. I'm actually probably going to have to make a right turn because I think there's one less inside pass than there is outside passes. And it usually gets that way when you are closer to the center. And then I'm gonna lower my header a bit because I don't want it going up that high. Maybe a little bit higher. And then do my full turn, set my header back on the ground, and get to harvesting because that's what combines are made to do. There is a hawk at the very end of my row, if you can see that. Super cool. And there's a hawk all the way over there also. They're everywhere. I wonder if he'll leave a hawk feather. Oh, and he's flying away. I don't see a hawk feather though, this time anyway. Just a little tiny one. Another hawk flying away in the field. Now we've made it two rows and we'll probably need to dump eventually. 
I'm just gonna keep going around for another row because I don't know where a truck is. So I say we just finish this field because we still have lots of room for more wheat. And I don't see any grain in the windows of Arvid's tank and he actually, oh actually no, that combine does not have a bigger grain tank. It's the one that's bro still broken down. If you haven't noticed, our grain cart is not in the field today because it broke a shear bolt yesterday and that was probably an operator air, either shutting it off while it still had grain in it or something like that, my dad was saying. So we had to spend the morning fixing that and my dad has to go to town to see if he can get this other combine fixed. So he's not able to operate the grain cart today. We'll just have to dump in trucks, but I don't even know if we have a truck at this end of the field because this is a 160 acre field. So the trucks are probably way down there. There might be one on top of this hill. I can't remember if I saw one there or not. I see a red truck going down the road though, so that might be to come and get off. I'm not completely sure. And then we'll move on to this field next, but we'll just keep going rounds until we completely fill up and then I'll try and get in touch with my dad. I'm not able to right now and I also don't have a radio to talk to Arvid but I'll probably get one at lunch. Now I am making my turn to start another row. I'm just gonna look, there's nothing in my window yet. The swather rows at the end look like they just went all the way through rather than stopping and having another end pass. It's kind of just like a curve, which is a lot nicer, I think. I still don't have any wheat in my window, but this back window's full, which you can clearly see now because of how clear it is. We might actually get this little portion of the field finished before having to dump. That's what I'm hoping. We have one, two, three, four, five, well, actually only four passes left because Arvid's taking this one. So I would say we'll make it because they're very short passes. Going a little bit fast, I was going three, four. I'm getting about 20 bushels per acre here, which is really good. This was our very best field this year. So whatever we get here is probably going to be our best crop of the year. My grandfather is 95 and he's been farming since he was 20 years old or younger. And he said this is the worst crop he's ever seen in his life. So I'll take a right turn here. And I actually think this is probably going to be, oh, wait, wait, wait. I've missed my row. There's one more pass headed from west to east. And I just about missed it. But after this, all these side rows will be completed and then we'll just have short little road. And I just want to fill up the combines because I know my dad was a little bit unhappy that we started late because the grain cart and the problems we've been having, we just want to get these crops in the bins. So we want to harvest as efficiently, quickly, and safely as possible. Actually, I'll make a left turn. These should be two down rows. I now have a grain tank full buzzer, but oh, we might not make it, we'll see we might be like one pass short because I am almost full in my window now. It's interesting, your grain will sit at a different portion and then when you make your corner, it'll fill up the whole window. So once my window's full, I'm done pretty much. So it might fill at the end of this pass, I'm hoping not. I have another long pass though with that kind of curved corner and I don't know that I'd make it all the way through it. But I'm gonna go until I completely fill up and when I fill up, Arvid's probably going to fill up also. I don't see a mountain at the top of his combine yet. And my rows, since I've always been on the outside, my rows are, are always going to be a little bit bigger than Arvid, so he should fill up a little bit later than I do. I'm going 3.3 miles per hour right now, and I'm directly heading south and actually looking at the white green elevator my great-grandfather built around the time when he homesteaded our farm. Well, not quite when he homesteaded, probably 10 or 15 years later. Ooh, it's getting full. Not quite full though, so I'm going to be taking another pass because I just like to see how full I can get before all the grain starts coming out. I am starting to see a pile in Arvid's grain tank, but he'll definitely make another pass and I'm thinking we can finish this because we only have my pass and one more back for Arvid then we'll be good. I don't know that I'll make it all the way through that. This pass though is the problem. Arvid just waved at me. That was so nice, even before I could wave at him. That makes me so happy when the combines wave at each other. Oh, I think I'm gonna make it. I have determination. 
even though that doesn't really play a part in whether I'm going to fill up or not, I definitely hope I'll make it. I'm just going to drive over this hill and try and find a semi truck or get in touch with my dad or Uncle Chris to see where to dump or what to do. And Arvid will definitely make this path too. It doesn't seem to actually be filling up very much more. When I turn around and I'm on a downhill slope, it'll fill up this window, I'm sure. Well, thank you so much for watching today's video. Make sure to like and subscribe to learn a little bit more about how your food gets to your table. You can also visit the Kate's Egg website, k-a-t-e-s-a-g.com, and purchase a Kate's Egg shirt that's grown and sewn in the USA, or a Kate's Egg tote bag that's also made in the USA. And you can follow Kate's Egg on Instagram, k-a-t-e-s underscore a-g, and on TikTok, Facebook, Pinterest, Twitter, pretty much everywhere else. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!